Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to, probably, and I said this last week too, it's probably going to be the last market outlook of FIFA 20. Uh, the last market outlook. We do these videos every single Monday. Expect them to continue in FIFA 21. I enjoy doing these. I think you guys enjoy them as well. So we're going to continue the tradition throughout FIFA 21 with these market outlook videos every Monday morning to give you a glimpse of what could happen for the upcoming week in FIFA Ultimate Team. Just to kind of give you that sort of general look forward, you know, some stuff that maybe we know is coming and, and possibility of some stuff that isn't or that is not known uh, by most people that, it, that could come out as well. And in terms of content, in terms of market movements, in terms of objectives, SBCs, all that kind of stuff, that is the aim of these videos. If you've not uh, gathered that so far, through this year of FIFA 20. We're going to continue that in 21 for sure, but we still have got some stuff going on in FIFA 20. Not a lot, but still enough to talk about and have a market outlook video. So we are going to do that again today. So happy Monday to you guys. Hope you have a good week, a good week uh, lineup set up maybe. But anyways, this is the type of content that we're getting right now. We got a flashback Blaze Matuidi SBC yesterday, and this is what I want to talk about going forward throughout this week. It looks like they are doing some transfer content. Now, this is a flashback. We had the Ferran Torres um, card that was released on Friday, I believe. Didn't really have anything on Saturday. I think we had a 92 plus tots, and then we had this SBC today. So I would expect more of the same this week, maybe a day on, a day off for a flashback player SBC or for another um, transfer item that is uh, using that premium squad building challenge card design, which seems to be the card design of choice for whatever this new um, top transfer content is going on in this game right now. So we've already had Sané. We've already had, I guess, technically you could say it's it's top transfer content uh, from some of these guys in, in the, the uh, level 30 seasons with a, a transferred Ziyech at Chelsea. Um, and then, so th those are like the three cards that we've had so far that are uh, four cards now that are like top transfer content. I do expect to see a few more of those this week. I would hope to see some more SBCs, I think. I mean, objective wise, I feel like we're just set with those. Maybe we'll see one more objective on Friday upcoming this week with another top transfer card or something other. Um, Related to FIFA 21 rewards, we'll probably see more objectives of those on Friday, kind of like they've been doing every week, giving us like lone TOTS players and then allowing us to do objectives with those cards to get foot 21 rewards. So I would expect more of that on Friday. But throughout the rest of the week, man, it, it's been so predictable these last, you know, honestly, two, three, four weeks. It's just been upgrade packs, a couple player SBCs, and that's honestly been it in terms of content we've seen on the market. Of course, this is technically top transfer content with the Blaze Matuidi, Inter Miami. Uh, he did transfer to Inter Miami. So he is a French CDM, but of course, harder to link now that he is in the MLS. Now there's a couple MLS guys. I think actually, uh, what is what club does Darlington Nagby play for? Darlington Nagby is the USA player as a level 15 reward. He plays for Columbus Crew, so that is not a strong link, unfortunately. Uh, but I believe that this Matuidi card strong links to the Agudelo uh, a milestone card that was available earlier this year. So that's for my USA boys. Uh, some nice little MLS links there with those cards. There's a lot of transfers that are happening right now, man. I mean, Van de Beek to United. I mean, this is one interesting thing that I see on Footbin. If you want to follow which cards are, you know, getting talked about right now in the transfer scene, what stuff's being talked about, just go look at the most popular cards on Footbin. Look at this. Van de Beek to United. We got the Here We Go from Fabrizio uh, on Twitter, if you know who that is. He is the number three. And like, what is this? Number uh, seven trending cards is gold and his... Tots card are trending on Footbin most popular because he is, of course, being talked about in the transfer situation. One of his informs in here as well. You continue to see Messi on this list, but Messi is always on this list because, you know, he's he's Messi, right? But again, uh, just in case you're wondering about the Messi situation, I saw this tweet today. I thought this was really interesting. Man City is preparing the signing of Messi. They've already signed on a large production company for archival footage to prepare like AV audio visual material for marketing stuff like when they if and when he would sign 
uh, then they'd have some videos ready to, you know, kind of tweet that stuff out, which is wild, right? That is crazy. But anyway, uh, this again was the SBC that we got on Sunday, 78,000 coins. It did make some 83s go up. And if we do see more of these, you know, possible cards that we could see for top transfer content, this is what I was going for just a second ago. Timo Werner, right? I've been talking about this all the time. Timo Werner could get a card, um, an SBC, or, you know, they could put out a objective version with the same stats, kind of like they did with Ziyech. Now, I actually think that Ziyech, if I could actually type here, Ziyech's 96 objective card has better stats than the Tots. Is that correct? Plus one pace, minus one shot, minus one passing, uh, plus, minus one physical, plus two defense, and plus one dribble. So interesting. Uh, I would have thought they would have just used the same stats. So maybe if we do get a card like Werner as an objective with a premium squad building challenge or objective card, we might not actually see him have the same stats as his team this season. Imagine a 99 pace, 99 shot Chelsea Timo Werner in these last couple weeks. That would be pretty dope if we did see that. But that's kind of the content I think you might expect this week. It might be another flashback SBC. Uh, you know, I guess they're saying in FIFA that this Blazement Tweety is earning a flashback Blazement Tweety celebrating his 2012 to 2013 season. So maybe they'll do, you know, flashback cards for some of the other guys that have transferred so far. You know, Victor Osimhen has transferred. Um, you know, I obviously think about the Spurs guys. Hoybierk and Doherty are now on Spurs. I mean, a lot of trans, all the Chelsea guys, right? Thiago Silva, uh, you know, obviously we already had Ziyech. We talked about Werner, possibly if Havertz, if that deal is done. And then, um, yeah, so a lot of Chilwell, right? Chilwell went to uh, Chelsea as well. So well. We'll talk about all those kind of transfers regarding FIFA 21 in a couple of days uh, or a couple of weeks as we start to get into FIFA 21 content. But again, for this week, what I would expect is just more of these upgrade packs, uh, specifically the 92 plus team of the season pack and the 90 plus upgrade. It seems like this pack and this pack EA is really liking releasing those. I think for the last two weeks, we have gotten the same schedule, uh, with like the 92 pluses, the 90 pluses and the 90 plus upgrade to player pick. So I would expect more of those this week as well. Again, tonight's Sunday night. People have played squad battles because of the objectives that have been out in the past couple days. The Leroy Sané objective, that means uh, as you're watching this video early Monday morning, you might see some lower prices on the market in terms of 83s uh, because they're getting supplied. I mean, last week I bought some stuff Monday morning, Sunday night uh, that was very low. And if you look at these graphs, it's low on Saturday, low on Sunday. And it comes back up as we get towards the end of the week. Again, last week, very low on Monday and it rose back up to about 9,000 coins. So if I saw these 83s, especially the ones with good leagues and good nations get down into that like low 6K, some of them getting under 5,000 coin range, of course, choose your players wisely. Use the one that, ones that link together the best. Um, but watch some of those cards if you're trying to make some coinage right now, or if you're maybe just trying to trade right now in FIFA 20 to try to get yourself in the right mindset for uh, FIFA 21. That is something I know some people are still doing. Uh, maybe get involved with some of this, right? Kadira last week was um, 6,000 coins on Monday. And of course, right now he's 8,500 coins before squad battle rewards. So just watch out for some of that stuff. Last week, I even remember specifically, there really weren't many high rated SBCs that came out this week. Um, but I bought Pjanic last week, right? I, th I think I still have on my transfer list. Actually, I've got Pjanic at 15,000 coins that I bought last week, just kind of buying that card and waiting for the um, for the 85 or the 89 five rare player pack SBC that never really came, but I'm just sitting here right now with Pjanic being 23, 22,000 coins. I'm actually going to cash these out right now before squad battle rewards because I think it's possible uh, that this guy might end up going back down to kind of the low teens range. Wow, I bought that one for 22k. What the frick? Yeah, let me list a couple of these guys up right now. I know I'm going to flood the market basically, but it is what it is. Not sure what happened with that one. All these ones were bought at the right price though. Around like 20, uh, 14, 15,000 coins. Trading in August, boys. Trading in August. And actually after today's video, I can say trading in September because tomorrow is September. Uh, also, speaking of September, since this is something that's on my mind, probably irrelevant for you guys, but something just to keep you might see differently on the channel. Well, two things actually. One, I got a new chair, right? 
Uh, you do not see the big red chair behind me. I got a new chair. It's similar to the one that I use for my actual job, being an accountant. I have an office chair and at work, that chair is way more comfortable than the one that I had here. So I got a chair like I have at work just to be way more comfortable. So if you wondered, yes, I do have a new chair. And also you're gonna be seeing me wearing glasses for the next two weeks on the videos that you'll see uploaded on this channel. I will be wearing glasses because I'm getting some stuff done with my eyes. Um, and I've timed it so that it's before FIFA 21 actually comes out. Uh, but you will be seeing me wearing some glasses and I'm gonna have to take a few days off as I start up the FIFA 21 content because I'm gonna be getting some uh, eye correction, uh, vision, I guess you call it surgery, LASIK, if you've ever heard of LASIK, uh, I'm gonna be getting that done in the middle of September. So that is just a, I guess, a life update from the foot accountant, I guess, uh, in terms of what you might see differently on this channel. Uh, but as well, the FIFA 20 uploads are probably gonna start coming, you know, we're gonna look back across the year and say, hey, what happened this year that we can learn from? And then we'll transition that slowly into FIFA 21 stuff. Because again, the content that's coming out in this game right now is really not stuff that I can sit here and be like, let's talk about it, let's analyze it, because it's just kind of over and done, right? It's just kind of over and done. And that's why I said today, this might be the last Market Outlook video of the year, which it, it, it probably is, honestly. To be completely honest, it probably is gonna be the last one. We'll still have some more uh, videos. I have another club tour video that's coming out for I Rate Your Teams. And then I'm gonna do a tour of my club specifically because I know a lot of you guys maybe haven't been watching me the whole year. You might not have seen some of the pack polls and know the story behind some of the cards in the club. So we're gonna do some of that uh, on the channel as well. And then, you know, make our way slowly into FIFA 21 with that content. You know, some people are starting their FIFA 21 content like today or like the beginning of September. This is all I would say, right? I just don't know what there's gonna be to talk about. All it's gonna be is looking at a lot of footprint graphs, looking at a lot of, you know, what I think this could be, a lot of predictions and stuff like that. Uh, all I would say is, man, I feel like I'm not gonna do a lot of FIFA 21 stuff until we are in the middle of September when we get more information about FIFA 21 and when that excitement really starts to build up. So I am kind of holding off until then just because uh, what more can you do? You know, two weeks out from the game, talk about the web app trading and how to make coins right away at the start. Uh, I don't feel like I wanna talk about that with you guys a month before you're actually gonna do it. I want it to be fresh in your minds. So I'm gonna start with that content in a couple weeks from now, all right? And I don't even think you guys really need to think about FIFA 21 yet uh, until then, all right? Just chill with it, relax for a couple days, play another game if you want to, play some PGA, play some Fall Guys, play some COD Warzone, just chill, bro, all right? Uh, also, a lot of you guys, this is the last thing, sorry, I keep getting on tangents. Uh, a lot of you guys asked me on Twitter, did I actually pack this card on my account from the video yesterday with the icon packs? Yes, boys. I packed 97 Moments Zidane. I'm gonna try him uh, on stream this week a little bit probably just because, yo, I I am just, it's really becoming real to me how insane of a pull that this is. I know it's from an Icon Moments pack, but still, mental, mental pull. I'm very excited to get a little Z Zinedine Zidane action in the club. I will be trying out a few games with him very soon, but I had to clear that up because some of you guys asked me, was that your Zidane? Yes, that was my be done. All right, boys. Hopefully you have a good week. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.